In the securities fraud class action, plaintiffs allege that defendants inflated the price of a stock by uh, withholding a crucial piece of information that would have had a, a significant impact on the price. Uh, if the information had been released earlier, then plaintiffs would have paid a lower price for the stock in question. Uh, the usual approach to calculating how much damage the, the plaintiffs may have suffered as a result of this is to just look at the moment that that information, that crucial disclosure happened and that information became public. Uh, the new information coming into the market causes the market to react and usually causes a dramatic change, a drop in the stock price. That drop, that change in the stock price, is uh, a measurement of how much the older stock price was inflated before the information became public. So then when looking at damages for a plaintiff, uh, the approach is to say, well, let's, let's suppose that, that that inflation was taken out of the price earlier. Let's, let's look at that drop and imagine that that drop had already occurred at a previous point in time before the plaintiffs made their purchase. Uh, this is an approach called constant backcasting. And this damage methodology is fairly straightforward because it allows you to say, well, we have an older price that the plaintiffs should have paid, uh, and we have the price they actually did pay, and the difference is their damage quantum. Uh, there can be a number of difficulties in going through with the damage estimation methodology that I've, I've just described. Uh, one problem in particular is that the, the same day that the disclosure of the crucial information happened and caused the stock price to drop, uh, might have also been a day on which uh, there were other sort of dramatic or important uh, pieces of market information that had a, an effect on the stock price as well. Those have to be separated out from the drop in order to determine how much of the drop actually is uh, quantum related to the disclosure of the information that is the subject of the securities claim. Um, another issue is when you're looking at damages for an entire class rather than for a single plaintiff and you don't have any holdings or trading information, so you don't know how much each of that member of that class bought or even what the total amount bought was. Um, this is an issue if you're looking, for example, at a price drop and you want to know how much a securities fraud claim is worth on the whole, uh, but you don't have any actual plaintiffs signed up yet. Federa's financial and economic expertise allows us to apply the appropriate market and sector indices that are needed to isolate the precise level of price inflation so we can strip out other movements in the market on the same day by applying the appropriate sectors and, and uh, indice movements. Um, often these sorts of damages models have a number of exceptional cases, for example, there might be missing data or these might be a very high volatility markets, uh, there could be ADRs or foreign currencies involved, uh, there might be a bounce back of the share price after the initial drop. We're equipped to handle these types of situations. We can also use simulated trade modeling from our database of quarterly holdings data uh, using major equities. We can estimate the size of a class claim consistent with legal precedent and the standard accounting practices that are applied in these sorts of cases. Our integrated data pipeline allows us to not only perform these calculations and generate detailed reports quickly and efficiently, uh, but we can do so in advance of any data collection from plaintiffs.